Okay, we're going to jump start this car with this jump start box and there's no batteries in it. I'll show you how the car is not starting. That's the solenoid for low voltage. We'll see. I have to turn it off. I'll hook it up and I'll show you. Now this is just cobbled together. This is not how you would connect a battery of a car, but if there's nothing to do why it doesn't start, it's the battery. And you can see here it's green, but the battery is actually dead. It is the battery. Now we're having it, we have to wait. Because now it's charging it magically for jump starting. It's at 12 volt, that's what the battery probably is. But it has to go to 14, otherwise we can't jump start it. So it's sort of, you could say, it's a similar thing that that batterizer tries to do from those one and a half volt batteries, but I think Dave Jones explained why it doesn't work. And if this works, I have an explanation why it works. It has to do with capacity because that battery there it's too flat to jump start a car but it won't be fully discharged it's not dead there's still a charge remaining and that's what this box is using now we're going have a look here this is the reason why The theory behind this is the ultra capacitors are sucking the battery now completely dry and storing the remaining energy to give it one last burst to start. And in theory I think it's possible. And there's no bullshit in these instructions. There's also no crap written on here from this place. Jump start box. It says it's only 300 amps, working condition, you can use it on the diesel, it's microprocessor controlled. There's no claims of a thousand amps or god knows what, that are not true like on some of these other booster jumper devices. I can't name names otherwise my video will be deleted. But. You know it starts with an N, they're really bad, crappy ones. So, yeah, I don't know. If it won't go to 14 volts, then we are screwed. And we have to charge it on another battery, because that's what the instruction says. So I'll pause the video, and after a few minutes, I should come back. There's also a little port here. You can charge it from the 12 volt on a car with a little lead here, or it's a USB. I think four and a half hours. The instruction says to have a fully charged uh, super capacitor in here, because that's what's in here. It's super caps. Okay, I'll pause the video and we'll come back when we have to charge it somewhere else or if it managed to go to 14 volts okay it's now charging itself should have read the instruction more clearly 
probably, but I know it's the blinking, it's actually charging it. Woohoo, 14! Yep, ready. Now I'll better put it down here because I don't want to have it ending up down there. Now go and start the car now, you, you stay here. Um, it's no manipulating anything. It fired right up. What do you know? How easy was that? You don't need a uh, a Polox jump starter with a battery in it. When you have a nifty little box like this. Uh, for more discussions, you can carry it on below, but I'll post this video now. Okay. Thank you.